swine flu in this city. I want to report, as many of you know, that there was a collapse of a vacant building this morning, not very far from here on Reed Street. Uh, the good news is no one was injured. Uh, everyone at and around the site is fine. Uh, city agencies have responded to the incident in a timely and professional fashion, just as we do every day. Uh, so those who are worried about uh, people getting hurt, uh, the good news is not to worry, and we'll certainly try to find out what was going on. My understanding is the building was being renovated at the time, and the Department departments on top of it. Uh, as to swine flu, uh, here are the facts as we know them right now. Uh, we expect the Centers for Disease Control will soon confirm that some of the specimens we have sent to them from PS-177 have tested positive for the swine flu. We should get that information soon, and it won't come as a surprise to us, because as we have said all week, we expect to see this flu spread. As a matter of fact, we would be surprised if it did not spread. Uh, PS-177 remains closed until further notice. La Escuela Uno Sepente y Siete sigue cerrada en lo que investigamos. Estamos esperando confirmación del Centro de Control de Prevención de Enfermedades si hay casos de gripe porcina. Uh, there have also been reports, you should know, uh, of a high, school, high number of absences in another public school, PS21 in Flushing. A number of those children were sent home from the school during the day. The health department, excuse me, is following up with families to determine uh, symptoms. In addition, uh, a team from the health department has also been at the school uh, since first thing this morning, interviewing students and staff. And so far, we have found no children in the school with illnesses consistent with flu and no documented clusters of illnesses among the students who are absent. Uh, we will of course continue investigating the situation throughout the day and make decisions based on any new information that we get about that in any other school and parents certainly will be notified if any school closes they should not jump to any conclusions until they receive such notification. The bottom line here is that we continue to vigilantly monitor every possible incident, as we have done from the very beginning. Uh, most of the cases we have seen continue to be mild, and most of the people who have caught the flu continue to recover. Uh, we're still not sure why the cases of swine flu here have been less serious than they have been in Mexico. It may very well be just a difference in reporting, but once again, let me keep reiterating the same thing. Uh, this is a flu that uh, we would expect to spread further throughout the country as well as throughout the city. Uh, so far, virtually everybody that has the symptoms of flu uh, have a mild case. And if we want to test, we would be surprised if in most cases it's not the swine flu, although it could be another variety of flu. Uh, the difference here is that it's a new strain and it is later in the year. But it's much too early to tell how quickly it's going to die out or how prevalent it's going to be across the country. Uh, but we have no cases of people severely ill or uh, having died. Uh, let me remind you that once again, influenza is a serious thing. Uh, every year, a couple of thousand people in New York City and uh, tens of thousands of people across this country die from pneumonia and or influenza. And the prevention methods are what we can say again and again. Uh, if you come down with the symptoms, if you have a cough or a sneeze, cover your mouth and nose. Uh, if you have a fever, uh, stay home. Uh, don't rush to the hospitals if you just have what you would normally call a cold at home, feeling a little bit under the weather or slightly miserable for a few days. If, however, you really feel terribly bad, then go to the hospital. But the reason we don't want you to rush to the hospitals is that you're just likely to infect people there, and there's not a lot that the hospitals are going to be able to do for you that just time uh, some bed rest uh, won't do. Uh, if some of the members of your family uh, come down with the flu, that's not unexpected. Uh, but once again, you can reduce the probability of that by covering your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze 
and by washing your hands and just trying to be in the, uh, avoid the, uh, any uh, uh, thing that gets you overtired and makes it worse. This is something that most people, when they get their bodies, uh, are uh, designed to counteract it and they will come out of it just fine. Vamos a seguir monitoreando esta enfermedad. Hasta ahora todos los casos han sido muy leves y mejores, mejoría y se está recuperando. However, all New Yorkers should remember the same with these precautions, the covering and staying home for at least 24 hours after your symptoms disappear. Uh, that will just reduce the risk of transmission, and that's the best course of action and simply every time you're sick. Uh, you should know that if you do have to go to the hospital, uh, you will be uh, treated regardless of your immigration status. That's the city law, and your status will be protected. Uh, we want you to feel free to go, but uh, nevertheless, if there's not serious symptoms, we don't suggest you go. There's not a lot the hospital is going to be able to do. And almost all people that show up at the hospitals that have been sent home with, and we uh, have seen uh, no evidence that you are really sick. People that do it for precautionary reasons. But for precautionary reasons, we would urge you to call 311, go to nyc.gov, and read up about the flu. Uh, but if it's manifested just as a cold, uh, treat it just as a cold. Recuerda tomar precauciones como lavar sus manos con frecuencia, cubre sus tos y evitar contacto con personas enfermas y enfermas. Si tiene fiebre, tos o dolor de garganta, quédense en casa. Si está muy enfermo, no duda en ir al hospital, no importa su documentación. Uh, el hospital va a atender a todos sin importar su estatus migratoria, su estatus va a ser privado. Uh, other than that, we don't think there's any reason for you to change your routine. Everyone should go to work and go about their day. Uh, no one who is planning to visit New York City should think twice about it. Uh, it is true a Cinco de Mayo festival in Flushing Meadow has been canceled. But that was a decision made by the festival organizers and not by the city. And we see no reason to alter your normal activity. Uh, as a lot of you know, I took the subway here as I take the subway to work every day. And I will do so tomorrow as well. Uh, Tom, you want to ask me?